Well, here we are again. Um, when I did the review of uh, the Darius, or not the Darius, we're, we're on that now, um, the Watkins Derby trade, I really did not expect to be making another video in the same season about trading away another first round draft pick, but here we are doing that again. Um, I have lots of range of emotions on this, so let's just get started. Um, let's talk about the cap. I've been trying to research some of the cap stuff, and this is basically where what it comes down to, according to um, ESPN. And that money that they're going to be saving is um, $5.73 million uh, in their salary cap this year, uh, about $2.4 uh, next year. And then after that, that's it. So we're still going to be spending some money um, this year and next year. And we're hit, and looks like we're taking a big hit with that 14 mil. But all season long, people would call on the radios. People would talk in public like, let's trade Darius, let's trade Darius, let's trade Darius. And he basically was the one player on the team everyone all agreed you couldn't trade because of his contract. And he did. He signed what, a six-year, $95 million dollar contract um 60 million guaranteed and obviously some of that comes off the cap so everyone was like no no no, it's gonna screw over the bills don't do it but they did it and they did it in a very brock osweiler way and what i mean by that is they traded him for a sixth round pick with fifth round incentive Woo! they traded him for nothing guys that's what they traded him for <laughs> They basically just wanted him out in any way possible where the money could go with him. Because if you release him, uh, that's where it could get worse and the guaranteed money comes in. And, and granted, the Bills are still paying a lot, but I would believe under the release, not as much. The contract goes to Jacksonville. So what are my overall thoughts on this? Um, honestly, I was more upset about the Watkins trade, and I like the Watkins trade. So I'm really not upset about this either. Um, I think, um, symbolically it stings a little because for all of you, um, people who want the bills to tank, give up on that idea. This is proof right now that that's crap because the last time the bills tanked, you could argue was 2010, even though you would, that season you could argue they were never trying to tank. They just literally sucked really, really bad. They ended up being 4-12, and 12, and they had the third overall pick in the draft. That's what we are, like, aiming for now so we can get a quarterback. And we picked up Darius. Now, a lot of people, I think, kind of wanted Von Miller in that draft, but we got Darius because Von Miller was picked up by uh, the Broncos. But So then we got Darius. And I think what I'm trying to say here is uh, six years after we got, like, a top-five player, he's off the team. So, and, and we can take that entire draft and really go down the line and see what the impact of it was. So, and you could go back to when we were 3-12 and 12 and we got Mike Williams and, oh man, top five picks for the Bills. I'm not going to say Dar Darius made the Pro Bowl. He obviously, he was part of a great off or defensive line. He obviously was good in various aspects during his time with us. But then he got paid, and then he just really didn't seem to care. Um, he really didn't care, simply put. Just stopped caring. He signed a few autographs at camp, but for the most part, you know, didn't really care. Um, and I think it's really interesting what happened in terms of the Bills symbol with getting rid of them, because... I think everyone knew he was the one player you probably would not get rid of. And the fact that they got rid of him tells you something. It tells you that everyone is constantly under notice. Now, that could be taken in a couple different ways. No one likes being looked over their shoulder all the time. Nobody likes that. But on the other hand, I'm taking this in a positive way. I'm like, okay, if they're trying to show the team, or if they're just saying in general without even trying to show, they're just this is just the way they are. If they're just saying that money doesn't matter, all we care about is winning, all we care about are good players that will win, and everybody else can go bye-bye if you're not buying in. It doesn't matter who you are and how much you're worth. 
then that's a message I am all for. I am all for that 115.2%. Bring it on. And I, I can't tell you how happy that makes me, that this is possibly your first, first maybe glimmer of culture change. I don't like going on that bandwagon because the Bills could easily still do everything they've done in the past 17 years. Four, four and two means absolutely nothing. Um, if we got 10 wins, then I might start thinking we're doing something. It's going to take that long, guys. I'm sorry. That's just where I'm going with this. The only downside is also just looking at the whole getting rid of players thing. If, because if this whole thing backfires, if the Bills don't go anywhere, this starts to look pretty bad. Like, why did you get rid of every player that um, you just may or may not be able to replace in the future? I mean, if they get rid of Cordy Glenn, I think that'd be a horrible idea this season. I'm sorry, he's actually making some sort of a, a real impact. Darius was only playing like 50% of the time. Um, Chedrick Thornton, uh, Drell Worthy, we'll see how they um, how they come up. Adolphus Washington's still back there too. Um, but I, I, I feel like on the defensive side, it's really not about who the players are. It's a real team effort. Um, I think we're going to face some interesting situations with... Uh, with Poyer being out and Gaines being out this week, but it's been a team effort. It reminds me of the ninety of the ninety nine defense, the the no name defense that none of them went to the Pro Bowl, but they're number the, they're the number one defense in the league. That's what our defense is this year. Our offense is a different story. Um, I don't want them to get rid of Cordy Glenn. I will not be happy if that happens. I don't think you you get a good left tackle. I know he's had injury issues, but you don't get a good left tackle and let him go. Um, especially somebody who can play guard, so let's let's keep that in mind too. So, and I'm not sold on Dawkins yet, not even close. So, that all being said, I like the message, even if they're not trying to send a message, I like what they're saying in general, that if you're not playing, if you're not doing what we want you to do, you're gone. And I like that. I do. It's like, we're only going to win now, and I think that's the best message they can convey. And I applaud the Bills for doing it, and I hope that it won't come back to haunt us, and I and I don't think it will. I truthfully don't, um, and I hope the sixth rounder we pick up is like the best player in NFL history. Um, and uh, that all being said, I'm hoping that we'll beat on the Raiders this weekend, um, and hopefully I won't have to come on here anymore this year and do any f former first rounders get traded videos. So. Uh, Thanks for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts uh, below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the page, and uh, take care.